Welcome back to another video. I'm Darkest. <laughs> um, it is, what is it? Saturday morning. It's pretty early. I wanted to get up and get out early today because I have a few things that I wanted to do in order to get back home. And um, I'll probably spend the rest of the day doing some house stuff. Um, it's been a busy, busy week. I hope you've had an amazing week. Um, mine has been good, even though it's been busy. Um, quite a few life events, <laughs> um, surprises have happened. Um, what happened this week? Um, actually, my I was actually last night spent some time with my god sister because her mom passed away so that was a hit um so spending some time with them loving on the family and um so i'm just trying to kind of do some things to make me feel better and um i came to one of my favorite coffee places yellow hammer to get some coffee and by my, to my surprise, they had one of my favorite seasonal coffees that's normally in the, what, fall? No, is it fall, winter? Mardi Gras season for us, which is the King Cake coffee. They have it now. They have made my day, y'all. So I'm so excited to get my coffee. So I plan to get my coffee and um i got a return hold on hey, King yes thank awesome. you Enjoy. thanks i'm so excited if y'all in my area you definitely got to try yellow hammer i love to support local businesses and they are local but anyway, I was saying that I needed to um, make a return, which I really don't like returning things. <laughs> but I, I'm going to make this return because I, I need something else in its place. So that's what I'm about to do. And I figured I'll pick up the camera a little bit because I really hadn't been in the vlogging camera moved these last couple of days you know how it is when you get some unexpected news so it's like mm. but um i'm gonna keep pushing i'm gonna keep pressing so uh, i'm gonna go to a few stores and um then head back to the house but i think i'll bring y'all along a little bit so you can see what's going on um Otherwise, y'all sit tight and uh, I call y'all back, okay? Well, y'all, it's not much fall decor <laughs> at all. A few pumpkins or whatnot. So, yeah, that's that. I figure since I'm in here, I could pick up some more of my wax melt. Let me find my favorite scent that I love. Here it is, y'all. They only have it in the big one. So this one's four books. The other one are norm the other ones are normally two. So I'll get a couple of these because I use this um, at home and now in the salon. Everyone seems to love it as much as i do so i'm gonna pick up a couple of these all right i came in here for some candles they only have the tapered white but they're such a good price so i'm gonna get these i'm actually gonna be doing a tablescape for fall so i'll need those candles Look at these quilts. They're so cute. They're by Pioneer Woman. I have been into quilts lately. 
not necessarily all the colors, but I'm loving quilts over comforters these days. So most time I come in the store, I'm always trying to see what they have new. They have some for $30 though, so that's not bad. I don't know if y'all ever come in this section, but Walmart has some cute crossbody bags. $18.98. This one is 16 bucks. Ooh, I like that. The detail, the buckle detail. Definitely an area is good to check out if you're looking for a cute, fashionable bag. I like those. So y'all, I said I was getting out of here, but here I am looking at PJs. This is a cute little set to wear around the house for $19.48. Oh, and then I got the little <laughs> onesies too, y'all. I've seen people wearing those quite often. I don't have one of those though. I got these two piece sets for $12.98. I'm always looking for a little lounge set for the house. And I told y'all I, told I was gonna go. Y'all see me? Still looking. Cute. I like how this made too. $11.98 for the top. $14.98 for the bottom. These are cute. Now I don't know if they're pajamas or outfits, but this is like a cute little lounge around thing to me. Alright, let me go. Let me browse a little bit. I'll be back. Oh, they got robes too, y'all. Come on, Walmart. Come on, Walmart. All right, let me go. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. Y'all don't beat me up. I've been moving. <laughs> I got kind of um, focused and um, put the camera down. And yeah, got sidetracked. So, I just left Home Depot. I didn't pick y'all up in there because I'm kind of trying to beat the rain at this point. And um, so I'm trying to get things done quickly so I can get back home. But um, I'm headed to, I had to return. I bought a cedar, old cedar mop refill. And I bought the wrong one. So I had to return it. And I ended up picking up two replacement pads for our, I think it's called Bona. It's like a Bona cleaner that I'm going to start using to spot clean at the salon. So I ended up getting that. And now I'm headed to, finally, <laughs> headed to Hobby Lobby. Sorry if y'all shaking, but uh, this road's a little bumpy. But yeah, so I'm headed to Hobby Lobby to do a return and um, I'll pick y'all up when I get there.
Hello, right, y'all. I'm in Hobby Lobby. Not planning on doing like this shop with me situation because I'm on a mission. But just know that they do have 50% off of fall decor, party, florals, and crafts. Um, I was in here the other day looking for like a light gold candle, but they didn't have them. They still don't have them. Kind of how that one is. It's kind of like a marble, but they only got that like 14 karat gold looking one. So I ended up just getting the traditional white from another store I'll show y'all in a haul that I'm going to be doing but they have like their usual stuff of course I'm specifically in here for to return something and to buy a garland that I didn't get the other day because I thought it was going to be 50% off but I want it that bad so I'm going to pay full price for it so, I have my exchange bag, <laughs> but because the line was so long, I decided to come on and get what I was trying to purchase, which is this garland, this white one here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That way, I can just stand in line one time and be done. <laughs> but, um... If you're Hobby Lobby fans, I'm sure you have one in your area and you've kind of browsed. If y'all want me to, I'll have to come back and do a browse shop with me for y'all. Look at that pompous. It's so cute. I actually got some of that planned for my fall tablescape this year. That I'll be showing y'all soon. But y'all, I'm on the move today. This line was so long. I'm just gonna stand in line and be done with it. But look at this cute stuff. Y'all know they always have cute stuff in Hobby Lobby. But let me get in line. I'll pick y'all back up shortly. All right, y'all. Made it back out of the Hobby Lobby. That was an easy, easy return. So I was able to return what I needed to return, pick up and grab what I needed to get in exchange. And I think I'm set. So I'm going to um, get my butt back home. That's what I'm going to do. I love this coffee so much. It's good. It's not even hot. Mm. It's not even hot anymore. But just so you'll know what I'm doing, I'm actually um, getting some items that I plan to do my table skate with, my dining room table. I plan to decorate it for fall. And um, I'm excited to show y'all the look is going to be totally different from what I did last year. I'm not sure if I'm going to show y'all me decorate. I'm not sure if I'm going to show y'all me setting it up while I'm doing it. But of course you'll see the finished result. So I plan on showing you all the things that I have. And um, showing you where I got it from and what I paid for it. Um, and then I'll show you eventually maybe not in this video i'll show you me setting it up i actually need i think one more item and i even have a diy a craft not diy but a craft project to do to go along with this table so i gotta get that done and um i'm excited to show y'all um this tablescape design actually was i sent it to mr allen an idea that I had seen on Pinterest and he was like I love that that was all of the fuel I needed to say let's do it so I've been on operation get the tablescape design <laughs> for the last week or couple of weeks or so so I have one more thing I need to 
I want to find if I can't find it um I'll improvise and go without it and it's actually those what are they called they're called I think wood chargers if I can find a picture of it I'll insert it what I'm talking about but they normally have them at like Ross TJ Maxx things like that and they're normally what like $7.99 between $7.99 and $14.99 a piece and I need eight of them I kind of don't want to buy eight of them because of the price so if I can do six I'll get six but eight would be ideal but if I don't find those I'll improvise and um either go without them or find something else that can go in its place so anyway I'm gonna stop chatting I'm gonna make my way back to the house and um, I'll show y'all all the stuff that I got for the table. How about that? I'll go ahead and show y'all that, the stuff that I have in this video. And um, yeah, so I'll be back when I get home, okay? Hold the line, I'm coming back now, okay? All right. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back. Finally made it home so I can show y'all um, what I have been hauling to get my table together for the new fall season. So, as promised, I told y'all in the last clip that I was gonna show y'all all the things that I have been getting together and a few extras. <laughs> that I have been getting together for my tablescape that I want to do for the fall. So here we are. Um, first things first, I have these lanterns. They were listed for $12.99, but they were half off when I got it. So, they were like six dollars, I think. I got this from Old Time Pottery. I thought it was really cute, and I'm actually going to use this on my centerpiece. It's a black lantern with a electric battery battery operated um, candle inside. So I actually have two of those. Here's the other. So I have two lanterns. Got those from Old Time Pottery. I think that's the only thing I found at Old Time Pottery. Um, oh, and then I have this. It's a pompous grass. It's already in a vase. This is what it looks like. It's kind of wild, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I said I was gonna try to tame it a little bit, see if I can shape it a little bit better. But if not, it's perfectly fine like this. I'm cool with it like this. I'm going for like that neutral, um, nudes, um, khaki, gold type thing for the table. So I actually have two of these. I found these at TJ Maxx and they were $16.99. I thought this would be perfect with the look that I'm going for. So I got that. I think those were the only things I got from TJ Maxx. Um, what else I got? Oh, I found these. They're like little clip-on pumpkins. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Of course, now known $1.25. But they're like a, a khaki color, kind of like a, oh, uh, what do you call that? Like a cloth knit material. I'm going to use this as well as a little accent in my centerpiece. And I got two of these. They're 125 at the Dollar Tree. So, of course, you got to have, well, you don't got to have. I wanted to have some pumpkins added in there. Oh, I forgot about this. I picked this up. This is not for the table. <laughs> but I've been wanting to add a few more cutting boards to my 
um, my stock of cutting boards. So I found this wood cutting board. It's kind of it's kind of small. It's like the size of my hand, bigger than the size of my hand. It was seven ninety nine, and it says it's handcrafted in India. So you can see it up close. But um, I really like this. Picked this up from Old Time Pottery. So I'll be using this a lot in the kitchen, possibly my cooking videos, or for whatever I need to use it for. That's that. Um, where else? Oh, found this can. Oh, this is another not have to do with the fall table, but we went to Tuesday morning. Not sure if y'all heard of Tuesday morning, but they had this Nautica candle. It was $7.99. This is my first time seeing this not a candle, but it smells really, really good. It has like a like a relaxing with a little hint of a sweet scent to it. But it's like when I smelled it, I immediately immediately felt like calm. So I was like, gotta have that. So I picked this up for, from Tuesday morning. Uh, what else? Oh, I went to Walmart. So I knew I needed some candles. Um, and I think I showed y'all this earlier, but I did get uh, two of the four pack of the taper candles. So I'm going to use this. I originally wanted like a really light gold, but I couldn't find that. So I opted for the white. The white will go perfectly fine. Found these at Walmart right there. Also, while I was in Walmart, I picked up my favorite scent, wax milk. The white Tahitian wood. They didn't have the smaller one, so I just got the bigger one from there. If you hadn't smelled this, definitely give it a try once you go to Walmart. And I tried two new scents. I tried a lemon basil which smells really, let's see, smell really fresh and you have to like lemon to, to try this. And I love lemon, it's so um, uplifting and fresh to me. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. And then this is an apple cedar wood, it's blue. Apple cedar wood. These were two dollars, the smaller ones, and the larger one, which is what that looks like, it was four, four dollars at Walmart. This apple cedar wood, it kind of puts me in the mind of a holiday fragrance, but not too overbearing. So I'm really picking up the, the apple in this one. So apple cedar wood i think this smell really good so try that the next time you're in the store okay what else if y'all hear something in the background mr allen is in there doing what he does best cleaning up <laughs> he's cleaning up in the kitchen y'all so that's what that noise is um oh since we're talking about fragrances i then went to tarjay and I have been talking about looking for my Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaning spray. Your girl found it at Target. Um, I had to go like to a whole nother county to find it, <laughs> but I found it at Target and I ended up picking up three of these for myself and I ended up getting uh, my friend Monica some also because I'm like we have both been looking for this and the scent is ap Apple cider This is actually my favorite You can use this for fall. You can use this all year round in my opinion. It just smells so Inviting and it, it may it just feels it smells so cozy like Yeah, so I got some of this for the, the house and I'm gonna use this at the salon It just smells so good uh, I think I got two more things to show y'all. So, I originally had some candle holders that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, but that's what I actually took back to the store. 
and swapped out for something else. My friend Monica told me about some candle holders that Target had. So at Hobby Lobby, the candle holders were, I think, $12.99 and $14.99. But at Target, they were $3. So I was able to get double the amount of what I got and go get them from Target. So here they are. I got the like a, me, a, a medium height and then a small height. I was able to pick up eight of these. I think I got four short and um, four tall. So you'll see the end, the end result of me um, styling these when I show you, show you my fall table scape. And they were $3. Like, are you kidding me? I was too excited. And they only had eight left. I needed eight. It was meant to be. So I got uh, eight of those candle holders from, where did I get them from? Target, I just told y'all that. My brain. And the last, well no, I got two more things. So I have been trying to find some gold flatware for my table and um, I originally was gonna get it from, where was I gonna get it from? Um, Pop Shelf. I saw some at Pop Shelf. I was gonna get it from there, but I realized they didn't have the the butter knife. So, um, I was in Hobby Lobby and I came across these. These are plastic, right? Which you can't tell they're plastic. They look like real so these are the first that i bought they were only 2.99 half off at highly lobby so i got these i only had the fork and the spoon and my dilemma was i didn't have the the uh the butter knife so i was going to order it from amazon but i was browsing in target the other day and i came across this six bucks for 60 of these y'all i'm so excited and i'm so excited for y'all to see me style this these are plastic they're not uh metal but you can't tell at all and you won't be able to tell when i put it together on my tablescape so if i would have bought the set of these they i would have had to spend uh i think 30 to 40 dollars a box and i would have needed three boxes for the size of my table so because it's just for decoration right now the girl went with the plastic and i'll try to pop up a picture on the screen i actually took a picture of these side by side with the real uh metal silverware like this and you can't tell the difference so I love it. So if y'all are wanting to try a different um, color or style flatware, you can always do the plastic versus doing the real and you save yourself some money. So I got these, but we're actually not gonna let these go to waste. We're gonna use these because we use plastic wear in our home all the time. So it won't go to waste and I only spent a dollar for it, I think. Last but not least, I purchased a new garland. I purchased a new garland from Hobby Lobby and I paid $30 for it. I was actually able to exchange my other candle holders and get this. So that made me really excited. But I have it folded up, but it actually spreads out, out longer than this. But this is what it looks like. Again, I told you I was going for the, the um, new neutral vibe on the table so but the look that i'm going for this is going to be perfect these are like acrylic balls they're not soft they're hard and they're flexible so i love that they can be bent and made to look full as i want them to so yeah so right now you may can't see it but it's gonna come together and i'm so excited to see it all come together um, so yeah, this is a garland that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and it was, where's the price? 30 bucks. So yeah, 
I wanted to come back and show y'all my um, haul of things that I have been purchasing and putting together as promised. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to show y'all the tablescape. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this video. Well, I'm positive it's not gonna be in this video. Um, but I'm definitely gonna come back and show y'all once I get everything together. I got one more thing I need to find and I'll be able to complete my tablescape. So, oh, before I go, I didn't get a chance to do it on camera, but I have these two forks. This black one, and I have this gold one. And it's a different color gold. I actually spray painted these. These came clear, and I spray painted them. So I was going to use either one of these um, before I found the other gold ones. So I ended up liking the like the 14 karat gold better than this. It's kind of like a, a muted gold color. But I think I'm going to use these. I have some clear ones and I'm going to take these black ones and use for my um, kitchen area, my kitchen table. So I'll let y'all know how that turned out if I decide to spray paint the other sets that I have and see how, how it works if I want to do my tablescape in there. We shall see. I thought that was pretty cool. A cool little DIY that you can do. Save some money. You can get a pack of um, these spoons, fork, and knives from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Spray paint them and have a whole set. So I'm going to try these for my kitchen table and see how that works. But yeah, enough of me rambling. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this haul. I know I get all the time in the comments um, that people say, well, why you don't ever buy nothing? And I'm like, since y'all, some of y'all, I ain't talking about everybody, but since some of y'all be so pressed about me making purchases, I was like, let me come give them a haul so they can see I do purchase when I want to. <laughs> I'm just the type of person and shopper, I like to shop with a purpose. I like to shop when I need something and I don't wanna just hoard things. So because I have this vision for my table, now you see I'm shopping specifically for my table. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for when I come back to show you my tablescape for the fall season and um yeah i'll see y'all in the next one bye i see you watching me when we're with our friends it's definitely something in the air so let's take it from there because i know you want it afraid to let it show and i know you need it why don't we let it grow It's time we stop tipping on our toes. We're holding you back.